Every year, 25% of deaths in the United States are caused by cardiovascular disease. Today, I'm with Dr. Haitham al Judi at Dameron Hospital to learn how to take our cardiac health to heart. Doctor, tell me, what are some of the symptoms for heart disease? Yes, so we have a wide range of symptoms that can be the reason or behind the heart disease. There is a group of uh, classical or uh, common symptoms that everybody kind of knows and atypical or unusual symptoms that also can be the representation of a heart disease. The classical ones like chest pain, which we call it angina, when, it's, when the pain is coming from the heart, that's uh, in a specific location on the left side of the chest, goes to the neck and the shoulder, but not every heart disease present with the classical or the common symptoms. You may come with a heart disease with the symptoms only feeling fatigued or tired or short of breath. And these are kind of atypical, not straightforward symptoms. So you have to watch for the wide range of symptoms, not just for one. What about risk factors? What are those? Also, uh, risk factors, basically two major groups of risk factors for heart disease. Uh, the first group of the risk factors, we call it non-modifiable or we cannot change. And basically these things are the things you are born with that you cannot change. The genes, uh, the age, by the time you get older your risks are higher. Uh, the gender, whether you are male or female, and those we call them the non-modifiable risk factors. But there is other risk factors you may get that we can change or at least intervene to lower your risk from the second group of risk factors, like having diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and those kind of risk factors. How are you able to diagnose someone with heart disease? Uh, you start first with the medical history and the symptoms you have. So the first step in the diagnosis is to meet with your physician or cardiologist to tell him what you feel, how you feel, your symptoms including whether chest pain or shortness of breath or fatigue or tired, other, other group of big symptoms. Then if the suspicion is uh, significant for uh, heart disease, we move to the next step by doing simple tests as having electrocardiogram or we call it EKG to check the rhythm and the electricity of the heart. Uh, some other simple tests or uh, non-invasive tests, an ultrasound of the heart, which we call it the echo, or a stress test if needed to put you on the treadmill and try to stress your heart under stressful condition and see if you get any changes in the rhythm or the electricity. If one of these tests become positive or suspicious for significant disease again, then the most definitive diagnostic is to go for angiography or heart catheterization. And from there you find out what you have, the blockages or no blockages, how many blockages, then the treatment will be based on that. You mentioned treatment. What are some of the treatments for heart disease? Again, treatment is a wide range, but it starts from simple preventive measures when you have risk factors but you don't have the disease yet. Mm -hmm. You actively intervene ahead of time and control your diabetes and your blood pressure to prevent the development of further disease or progression of the disease. The second step, when you have some disease that's non-obstructive, then you treat it like, like with cholesterol medicines and blood pressure medicines, that you have a disease but it's not significant enough. Once you have significant blockages or tight blockages of the coronary artery disease, then you have mainly the two options are stenting or ballooning and putting a stent for simple amenable blockages. Or if it's too bad or too long, you can do a bypass surgery by open heart surgery. What would you say to someone who may be experiencing heart disease or thinks that they may have heart disease? To come down and, and uh, have him be their doctor. and. He's, he's very knowledgeable. He explained what he had done, what he was going to do before he'd done anything. Asked me, did I have any questions? And I, I just think he's a very good doctor. I had come by ambulance and they had the lights going and stuff. And uh, I said, what hospital are you taking me to? And they said, and I said, no, you're not. 
And he said, yes, we are. And I said, no. I said, you might as well stop right here because I'm going to Dameron or I'm not going. So you felt that strongly about it? I did feel that strong about it, and I still do. Where can our viewers go for more information? Well, if they need more information, they can go to DameronHospital.org. They will find all the information they need over there. All right. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you.